This is a meal combat individual, or C-ration, beef steak with a B3A unit. Check this thing out. <laughs> it's seen better days. Hear that rattle? Not bad. The bottom, it said the same thing, but now, pretty much, I mean, you get the gist of it. But this thing, you know, I'm pretty sure the main course is cooked. It's, it's rattling. It's dropping, like, bits of rust everywhere. All right, so let's check this out. First, starting off with a accessory packet. You got your cigarettes, matches, chewing gum, toilet paper, coffee, creamer, sugar, salt, and an interdental stimulator. All right, got that classic short white MCI style spoon and some seedless blackberry jam. And I don't think this thing's leaked. It does have bug carcasses on the side that, whoa, look at that. That's, that's always a good sign. And we've got this B3A unit, again, kind of uh, peppered with bug carcass. You know, but the can itself looks to be in pretty good shape. Crackers and candy. Oh yeah, that's right. April 1971. Cool. And with some of these MCIs, the uh, cocoa came separate in the pack. Let's see how well this one held up. Oh, yeah, not well at all. That's that's interesting. Check that out. <laughs> Whoa, that thing is toast. I I think those are, yeah, those are bugs. Some sort of weird insect. And there's really not much to the contents. It's very light. It just feels like an empty or near empty pack. Okay, you got the cardboard spacer. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> Check this out. Super gnarly. Like, oh wow. Something did some real band damage. Like, oh, jeez. You know, I, oh gee, I feel like, um, yeah, this isn't, this is going to be a two-hand job here. It's stuck. It's like genuinely stuck in there. It's like melded. Ooh. Yeah, wow. That is something. I've never seen anything quite like it. But, um, oh well, okay. That's, uh, that's one of the more disturbing things I've seen in a ration. Those are all insects in there. Um, okay. Wow. Wow. We're, we're gonna venture forward here. <laughs> you know, that is actually the most insects I've ever seen. Insect carcasses I have ever seen in a ration. That is, uh... Actually, wait, why am I not wearing a mask? Hold on. What is the matter with me? Okay. So that's a lot better. I gotta say... I've never seen anything quite like this. It's an extensive amount of critters in that container. And, you know, it's, it's weird because this thing is fused into the box. It's completely fused. I mean, gotta say the beefsteak can, that, the, the can, that's intact. It's under pressure. It has botulism in the can, but it is intact. This here, must be pears or apricots. And I'm telling you, that that there is, again, I've never seen, look at that. I mean, that is, that is incredible. I mean, you probably have, you know, a couple grams of petrified, weird, slightly, that is disturbing. So, pretty much, this is what's left. Well, Sort of. All right, so here's what I was able to clean up. This beefsteak here has a slight bulged appearance to the can. Um, I, I just don't have a good feeling about it. And look at, look at that rust. Not bad. Eating right through that olive drab finish. Well, I can say this, that accessory packet still has a good air seal to it. Anytime that's the case, you can guarantee the experience is gonna be nice. All right, so. I want to first start off with that beef steak. Yeah, oh boy. All right, so let's check this thing out. Nice hit. If 
Oh wow, even with the mask, it can still smell some, it kind of smells like cat food. Oh wow, check that out. Gnarly. Okay, so uh, first off, what I see right off the bat, I see some mold on the side there. Ooh, smells like a deviled ham and cat food. Oh gosh, nice juices. So that gives you a good idea right there. It was uh, yeah, the can looked pretty good. Well, I guess that beef steak is kind of like a weird three slice deal. Let's see if I can keep the center one sitting. Oh, I wanted to keep this one upright. Uh, well, I don't know. Kind of has a nice little salami thing going on. I, I don't know what I'm doing. Anyway, so let's check out that B3A unit. This thing should be a little bit more normal. No hiss. Sometimes that's good, sometimes that's bad. Sometimes a vacuum hiss, air rushing in. I mean, I gotta say, that's, that's always a good thing. But then when there's air rushing out from gas buildup, that's, that's not a good thing. That's, that's not cool. Well, that smells kind of standard, run-of-the-mill for a MCI B unit with no cheese spread. I mean, it has the fudge, I'm assuming, yes. Vanilla cream disc. So it's, they didn't call it fudge this time. It's usually like vanilla fudge bar. So that's pretty interesting. Vanilla cream disc. Haven't seen that kind of text on an MCI yet either. So here's your standard crackers and little fudge bar essentially candy now that can's beautiful and we've got that seedless blackberry jam little hiss there That jam looks pretty decent to me. I mean, to my standards, that looks that looks good. I've had this kind of stuff before where, I mean, it turns black, you know, or brown or something weird, but it, it usually doesn't maintain the color you would expect it to actually look. And that actually looks like blackberry jam. Hmm. I mean, it's perfectly fine. I mean, the thing is, hmm. Hmm, is that metallic? Hold on. No, no it's not. Not really. Maybe, well, I don't know. Maybe a little bit. So I actually wouldn't mind taking a quick second to look at this accessory packet. Okay, so we've got, all right, look at that. Got some Benson and Hedges menthol 100s. Cool. All right, we've got. All right, so, wow, check out those spearmint chiclets. A little two cent pack. Back when you could actually buy something for two pennies. That's amazing. And some salt creamer, which still feels perfectly fine. That's always a treat. Some instant coffee, which, bummer. Oh, that's, that's like tragedy. You know, with that being said, where there's one coffee instant, there's many. So, and we have that interdental stimulator, Stimudent. Some sugar, matches, and some toilet paper. Now that's a sight. All right, and let's go back over to that vanilla cream disc. I'm curious to see how well this has held up. I don't think it's really fared all that well. Check that thing out, it looks so good but usually it just tastes so evil. Whoa, look at that. It just kind of burst right open there. Um, usually they're a little more firm, not so crumbly. Look at that thing. I'll say this, it doesn't really look bad, but it smells awful. Oh wow. And, well you might as well just get a bite anyway. Um, 
It's just a sweet, crumbly. Hmm. I'm just gonna let it settle on my tongue. Hmm. Well, I gotta say, it's not edible. It's yeah. It's just an exceptionally strong chemical kind of flavor. So I'm just gonna go over to these crackers, and you know these things will be most likely fine. I hope. Hmm. That's exceptionally stale, but still edible. Hmm. You know, it's, um, oh, yeah, it just goes down really not that well. It, it, you pick up the flavor of the um, vanilla cream disc of Doom. And so that, that brings me back over to the Blackberry Jam. It's about as good as it gets for food value in this ration. And a lot of times that seems to be the case. You know, you just pretty much get crackers, jam, peanut butter. That's what ends up lasting in these things. Hmm. Yeah, I mean that jam. I made the bite of cracker there go down significantly easier than just the cracker on its own. Must say, those crackers are unpleasant. Oh, and you know, I don't even think I've really talked about <laughs> what this beefsteak even really smells like. It just smells like metal and um, like spam. It really just sounds like metal and spam, and I don't really want to put my nose too close to this um, monstrosity, but I mean, I really don't. Why put myself through it? Well, it really has a salami or bologna, um, yeah, bologna kind of look to it. You know, and that meat is so soft, you know, it's just so, it seems to be, I'm not sure if that's how it always was or what. But that right there is just something else, you know? The thing about it is, I mean, if again, if, if you ate that, I don't know what it would do necessarily. I mean, I've never eaten moldy canned meat, nor am I ever planning to. Yeah, sometimes you just, it's not even worth putting yourself through it. That looks perfectly good. I can never recommend any to anybody to ever eat any of this stuff, really, but especially not something like that meat. We're going to drop in the sugar, and I actually kind of feel like checking out the creamer this time as well, because it really feels perfectly fine. So that's, that's amazing. For being 45 years old, creamer, it, it smells funny. It really, it really smells like mint, and it's fine hydrogenated oils. I mean, gosh, it really does. It just smell, smells like spearmint. And we'll drop it in anyway. Might as well. Give it a shot. Well, I gotta say, it's a nice setup. It looks good. Well, except for the um, moldy meat. Other than that, not bad. Mmm. Oh, wow. That is some really smooth coffee. That creamer, not weird in the slightest bit. <laughs> That's always cool. So, Benson and Hedges, menthol 100s. I think this is the first menthol that I'll be sharing so far. So, well, they sure did make him look appealing. All right. Oh, wow, these smell incredible. It's a very light menthol smell to them, almost just like a menthol oil, opposed to the weird, you know, chemical kind of menthol smell in cigarettes nowadays. Quite a sight. All right. Well, that's a nice light menthol kind of smell and flavor to it. I mean, this isn't a prevalent weird blasting with menthol kind of smell and um, on the dry pole right and on the dry pole as well like modern uh, menthols I gotta say this is this actually tastes normal um, not a big fan of menthol usually because it's just a little bit too strong of mint this tastes really good so far It's 
incredibly smooth, as always. It's just such a faint menthol flavor to it. You can hardly even tell it's there. It really just has an ultralight kind of flavor to it. Um, <laughs> One of the many uses of a B unit can makeshift ashtray. I gotta say, C ration cigarettes and coffee and some type 1, they go together like peanut butter and jelly. It's just a little bit light in comparison to say that Marlboro was fantastic. The Pall Malls, filtered or even better, unfiltered. Um, the Lucky Strikes, I mean, old C ration Lucky Strikes, I mean, it literally tastes like you're smoking some sort of floral arrangement along with your um, your tobacco. You see, this just tastes like a really good quality cigarette without a whole bunch of additives. And a light amount of uh, menthol makes it exceptionally smooth. But when it comes down to the flavor of this, in comparison to some of these other sea ration smokes that I've had, it's not the best, but it's still not bad. Well, that about does it for me. Well, it pretty much just leaves you with the stimmy dent and those chiclets. So, this is just a nice piece of two pieces of wood. You just chew them. Well, you fray that out. A little makeshift toothbrush. Mint. Hmm. Kind of has a nice little mint flavor to it. Speaking of mint, let's, this is kind of, this and that blackberry jam is pretty much your dessert. Well, it would have been the apricots, but those were skunked. Let's see how well these held up. Perfectly. Mmm. That has such a beautiful, all-natural spearmint flavor. Perfect palate cleanser after that coffee and some type 1 and Benson and Hedges menthol. Not bad. Gotta say, beefsteak, just like how Mama used to make it. Anyway, this is Steve1989 off MRE Info. Hope you liked the video. I'll be coming back at you with something new. Or old. Alright, cool. See ya.